Pamela Anderson is great. John McCain's daughter is not. They met on The View. Here's what happened. You were visiting him. He was allegedly kicked out of the Ecuadorian embassy because he was defecating everywhere and creating methods. No, well, that's a smear campaign. And they put that's in, not true. There was video of, of things that happened. I, I mean, I don't. What would you do if you were that. locked in a room for just for really quick six years? Well, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be a cyber terrorist, which he is. He's he hacked information. He he's didn't leaks hack. included classified documents that put our national security at risk, our military, you know, who and the lives of spies and diplomats at risk. Is the military? Who, how many people have the, military, the American so, government killed innocently, and how many has WikiLeaks? So you think the military is putting the government at risk? The military has put many innocent lives at risk. Oh, calm down, sir. For re I, I really like that part. <laughs> it's clearly multiple she people. Is, yeah, it's not just one person. One She's guy. such a hate. Yeah, there's one guy who cares about U.S. killing <laughs> civilians overseas. But that's an impressive, you know, applause break for The View, frankly. Remember Christopher Hitchens. And how many has WikiLeaks? So oh. you think the military is putting the government at risk? The military has put many innocent lives at risk. Oh, calm down, sir. <laughs> For real, I, I'm actually genuinely there curious about your relationship be, with him. The, yeah, war crimes need to be punished, and they haven't. The, the war crimes that he's exposed, no one's no one's done anything about it. But they put him in jail to shut him up. Are you talking about a, the 210 video of the helicopter right. fire killing civilians in Iraq? Yeah, well, that's one thing, but there's so many other things that he's exposed. And it's not just America. He's exposed. Well, he's exposed Russia. He's exposed all sorts of well, different that's, countries. That's <laughs> uh, guys, what do you guys think? I'm not sure about the last point. I'm not sure about Russia. Well, I mean, if you, if you go back to like 2000. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. Well, and I, I wish... all of these criminal charges relate to what he disclosed through Chelsea Manning, mm -hmm. which was the wave of crimes in Afghanistan. None of these charges have anything to do with anything modern WikiLeaks. They all go back to revealing war crimes. I, I, I agree with what she's saying, how he's the scapegoat for all these deeper, real problems going on. I wish that instead of saying military, she would have said f the foreign policy yeah. put, mm -hmm. put, put, put us at risk because attacking the military is like, you, people might think she's attacking soldiers who are just following orders or whatever. It's the, the foreign policy of America that's putting America at risk in a lot of cases and people are not willing to admit that. Or look at that straight in, because you know it's it's the, the people in power have have their their geopolitical you know strategies going on, but I w I wish she just had had replaced military with foreign policy uh, foreign policy. Of I America. wish she had replaced spy with uh, with journalist. <laughs> My father. How much more coherent is Pamela Anderson than anyone who works at like Politico? Or like forty percent of people who work like, for like the New Republic, even oh, like she, not even, she's like she's, more consistent. But people treat her like she's an idiot. Or who's manipulating her? Who's giving her these no, ideas? She has it's more integrity and intelligence yeah. than all of it. But also, like, why does it take? And it's not an insult to her. It's an insult. Like, it's disgusting that she is literally the only person on primetime television that even registers right. that us killing people overseas is a problem. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, it's actually kind of a problem. The United States is overseas murdering civilians. And that was the most key part of those WikiLeaks revelations through Chelsea Manning. Chelsea Manning still persecuted for it. Julian Assange's case is a threat to journalism as a whole. Mm -hmm. And then we have just like this belligerent nepotism case trying to stare her down. Do you want to see the second part of it? I do. Let's see one more part of it. Emails. I mean, the question they I have though is emails. like, she what would them, you so. say to, I know but that doesn't mean everything should be, the question I have though is, like <laughs> spies that go out and put their lives at risk, like Congressman Wilhurd, who we were just talking about, who's dedicated, you know, decades of his life to helping fight terrorism. It's classified information, I believe, is classified for a reason. I do have some faith in the U.S. government, although as a conservative, yes. I have less faith normally than liberals do. So what would you say to the spies who are putting themselves at risk for our national mm -hmm. security with your relationship with him? Well, I don't think he, there's nothing proven that he's actually put anybody at risk. Um, they've, they've They've gone through this over and over again, and I just I think that people like Edward Snowden, Chelsea Manning are heroes, and and uh, Julian Assange is a publisher. Putin also He's thinks that. Oh God. <laughs> Putin also thinks that. Like whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that last look that Pamela Anderson gives her. Right. Yeah. That's just that raw contempt for this like disgusting trust fund baby, <laughs> defending war crime. Could you imagine a belligerent nepotism case? Defending war crimes. It's ridiculous. Like, well, that's say, a, that is overdetermined. What about the CIA 
agents or officers like don't you have some sympathy for them pam yeah so much sympathy i also love it's like i'm a conservative so when it comes to like the government making sure that like arsenic isn't in the water i'm pretty dubious <laughs> but when it comes to like a global killing machine i think we need to give them a little slack right <laughs> right right you know and uh, these people just piss me off so much because they never dispute what's revealed never right they always just say like well some things are supposed to be secret Right? It's like, well, well, the that's big news, the point. The big news today, they were really upset that the U.S. pulled its spy from Putin's inner circle. Can you imagine the hysteria in the United States if it turned out that in Obama's inner circle, like the number four person was a Russian spy? Is that not the interference? Iranian well, spy. Can, you know, Iranian spy, oh, yeah. fool. It, it, it is, it is, it is Russian insane. spy. It is insane. You must be out of your VS snipe all head. I despise these people for making me want to support Putin. Right. You know, just in- Let's not talk about killing civilians. Yeah. Let's talk about the fact that we're not supposed to talk about it and know about it in the right. first place. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Hey, we're missing the real issue here, which is we're not supposed to know about those villages that we carpet bomb. I actually was just re-watching a little bit of Oliver Stone's Putin uh, interviews. from two- Those are amazing. For, I mean, for three, for four reasons. One, because it is valuable to know that worldview, not to agree with it, but it is valuable to know how they're contextualizing the world in the same way it's valuable to just know how anybody is. Uh, or three reasons. Two, because yes, in that context, Putin does have like a very weird likability. Like his like rapport with Oliver Stone is hilarious. And it's hilarious because like... He'll ask Putin, like, man, what did you do last night? And Putin's just like, I played judo, and then I have hockey, and now we do security <laughs> briefing. And he's like, what did you do, Oliver? Because they're, like, buddies. And Oliver's just like, oh, I'm really jet-lagged, man. I was, like, walking around Sochi just thinking about, like, the Silk Road and, like, global geo stratagem. But, like, like, Oliver Stone really does sometimes seem like he legit, like, blazed before he sat down with Putin. Well, because they, and like the contrast of like Vladimir Putin like swagging KGB and Oliver Stone's just like does that make you think? Like do you ever they're talking about his workout routines. You remember that part? Yeah, but He's like, like when you're swimming do you get, it's, it's very meditative do you get like ideas? <laughs> but Putin made him do all the interviews at like 4.15 in the morning. So like they woke up Oliver Stone from bed and then Putin sits in front of him and he's like, yeah, I just came from swimming two miles. Yeah, no, no. Putin, like, wow. Yeah, Putin's all just like, I just did you do, just I'm ready for it. And he's just like, yeah, I'm really jet lagged, man. But uh, Barack Obama, uh, he's, uh, he's an imperialist, even though. I thought he was kind of groovy, but no. Yeah. <laughs> and Putin's like, yes. But there actually is this one part that is fascinating from that other perspective, because they ask him about Bernie Sanders, and he's like, maybe he will be able to change some things. But he looks and he's like, but the bureaucracy in America is really strong. And that's actually fascinating, because it's like, on one hand, I mean, the easy and true point is like, of course, he represents a very strong bureaucracy and so on. But like, it, it that was like a sincere comment of what it looks like mm-hmm. from the other side of our foreign policy. Is like, no, this you guys have a lot locked in. Listen, he's he's a man who knows how to get things done. He right? does know. Yes, he you know, they took to Crimea. Things. We're gonna take Nova Scotia. Day <laughs> three, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> you just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.